Prophet والسلام, in the hadith of Zainab bint uh, Jahsh, may Allah be pleased with her, said that the Prophet والسلام, entered my chambers once frightened, saying, La ilaha illallah, waylun lil Arab min sharrin qadiq tarab. Woe to the Arabs from an evil that is coming closer. And he says, Futiha min radmi ya'juja wa ma'juja qad rahada. That from the barrier of Yajuj and Majuj, this much has been opened. That was when? About 15 centuries ago, at the time of the Prophet. So Mother Zainab says, O Prophet of Allah, would de destruction fall upon us and we have righteous people among us? The Prophet said, Yes. If the evil spreads, once evil spreads, then even if we have righteous people, Allah will destroy them as well. And why is that? Because righteous people who do not stand in the face of evil and enforce virtue and uh, uh, prevent vice, Allah will take them with the bad guys. But those who stand up and say, Ya fear Allah, this is haram. Whether they listen or not, then Allah would protect those. So when we reach a period of time when people do not stand to say the wrongdoers, you're doing wrong, then this means that it's time for our destruction. And that is why it's not a choice. It's a way of life. Whenever you see something wrong, you have to give advice, depending on the way of saying it. And you have to be diplomatic. Someone drinks with his left hand in front of everybody. Ya akhi, taqillah. Taqillah, ya akhi. You should drink with your right hand. Aren't you Muslim? Okay. If I say this, that even if he's righteous, he's going to be evil. And he's going to say, ya akhi, I don't want your da'wah and I don't want your religion. You've embarrassed me. No, you have to be diplomatic. You have to be nice. You have to think of the pros and cons. But you have to prevent evil. Either by rhetoric, if you have control with your hand in my in my, my house my my son wants to do something wrong i have the power to prevent him not to give him money if my daughter wants to do something wrong i have the power to prevent her by not helping her or any in, in a way i have power over my wife my daughter my son but i don't have power over my co-worker so if he's doing wrong i cannot and say I'm, I'm, I'm preventing evil. No, you are doing evil. You can advise him by your mouth, give him a cassette, a CD, a leaflet, uh, send him a nice email, invite him for some snacks and try to talk to him so that he loves Islam and da'wah. At least you have preventing your, the evil through your heart. But to sit and accept the evil without advising, without talking, without pointing, and he's my best friend, we talk and we go out together he does what he does what's between him and Allah no you have to draw the line and know who to go with and who not to go with please don't forget to like us and share us on the digital member Facebook and Twitter please also subscribe to the digital member YouTube channel in the links below